right. Our next question, right, comes also from social media, which you can also uh, be able to do if you want to win awesome prizes. Go to Facebook, search the Mindset TV Facebook page, and then send a question using that page. We will receive it. If you like it, you might stand a chance to win an awesome prize. So let's check this last question and help you to analyze uh, this particular question that you're looking at right now. Okay, this one says to us in the diagram below, AB is a diameter. Beautiful stuff, right? Like I said, it's important for you to analyze the love letter that you're given there. Right, important for you to analyze the love letter. So we know that AB is a diameter of semicircle A, B, C, D. There's a chord, AC, and another chord, BD, that intersect at point E. We can see this point E is a point of intersection of the first chord AC and the second chord BD right there. And EP is perpendicular to AB. So we can see there's a small box there that implies 90 degrees. We know that P1 is 90 degrees and P2 is also 90 degrees. Very, very important for us to take that love letter into consideration and make sure there's nothing appearing on the letter that we don't have on the diagram. Right. So let's go to the first question that we are asked to work with here. The first question says to us, we need to prove beyond reasonable doubt that triangle BPE is similar to triangle BDA. So you want to prove that triangle BPE, which I'm now going to highlight, you want to prove that this triangle that you're looking at right there, right, is the same as the big, big, big triangle in the whole semicircle. There's a bigger triangle covering all corners here, guys. The one that is BDA, that whole big triangle. I'm going to write it in green now. So you want to prove that those two triangles are actually um, similar to each other. Now, you will agree with me that there's something special about this angle that we have here. We can find it if we are looking for it. There's something you can tell me about it right there. This has to be a 90 degree angle, right? That is useful information because we know from geometry, like I said, analyze your given information. An angle subtended by a diameter is always 90 degrees, right? So I'm going to start there and say angle D is equal to 90 degrees. Why? This is the angle on a semi Circle. If you want, you can say angle subtended by diameter. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm now ready to start arguing that my triangles are similar to each other. So I'm gonna continue here and say, Mr. Examiner, in triangle BPE and triangle BDA, we are looking for three things that are the same here. So let's see what the story is going to be. So first of all, remember the angles are written in the right order. Angle B has to be equal to angle B. Yours is just to find the reasons why are these angles equal to each other. So let's look at them. You will see if you look there that angle B, that angle B that you're looking at is a common angle between the yellow triangle and the green triangle. So I'm going to start there and say examiner, that angle B is actually a common angle. So I'm going to say angle B is common. Please keep that in mind. Angle B is common. The second thing that I want you to pay attention to is the second part now. Let's check the second part. We want to prove that P is the same as D. So P is the same as D. Where is P? Angle P is 90, we can see there. And angle D has been proven to also be 90, so we're happy to see that. It was given to us that P is 90, but we can actually argue that uh, angle D is also 90 degrees. So angle P2, let's go and say angle P2. Angle P2 is equal to angle D. Uh, it, they are both equal to 90 degrees, and this information has been proven earlier on based on what was given to us as far as P2 is concerned. And like I said, if you can prove two of them are the same, then you can argue that the third one is also equal to each other. So you can argue that angle E is the same as angle A. So let's look at that angle E that we have in the first uh, question is going to be um, in the first triangle. That is actually angle E3. So angle E3 is equal to the whole of angle A. So I'm going to say that angle E3, angle E3, three is equal to the whole of angle A, and this is because of uh, the sum of angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, or you can say third angle, because if two angles in one triangle are equal to two other angles in the other triangle, then by default, we know for a fact that the third ones are also going to be equal to each other. Right, now, I want us to actually finish off by saying, therefore, the first triangle there that you're looking at, what triangle is that? Triangle BPE, that triangle BPE is similar to triangle BDA, and the reason for this is AAA, right, right. So now, once we've got this, it's very important for you to understand that 
This is actually how you're always going to prove similarity. Find two angles in the first triangle that are equal to two angles in the other triangle. When you have that, then you can conclude that indeed you do have what we call similar triangles, right? Now, before we go to the next questions, very important for us to uh, look at the following. Let's see what the story is here. Right, let's see what the story is here. Let's see, let's see uh, what the next part of this question is going to be, right? Uh, if you check here, let's go now to the next question. Yes, there's the next question for us. We are now required to use the information that we just found to find the next question, right? Very important for you to understand that geometry is a story. Number one will help you to find number two. Number one, number two will help you to find number three. So it's a story that are leading you on towards something. So do not neglect what you found earlier on in order to try and find the answer for the follow-up question. Please keep that in mind. It's always, always the case, right? Keep that in mind. Now let's look at this question. Right, they are saying to us here, we need to prove in this triangle that we are looking at, and that semicircle with a lot of triangles going on there, that AB squared is equal to BD squared plus AB squared times PE squared over BP squared. That looks like a lot of information. This looks very, very complicated, if you ask me, right? But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, first of all, this whole AB squared and this whole BD squared that these people told me about, and see what are they in that triangle that I'm dealing with there. So the side AB, if you look closely, you'll find that the side AB is the whole side that you're looking at right there. And then they've got another line BD, which is the whole side of that part that you're looking at there. And now, if you look at that, if I completed this, I'll be looking at what we call a red, which is a right-angled triangle. And in a right-angled triangle, you'll agree with me that we can apply the theorem of Pythagoras. What did Pythagoras say a very, very long time ago? I was there. Pythagoras said the square on the hypotenuse, so which means... AB squared is equals to BD squared plus AD squared. Please keep that in mind. Very important. This is straight from the theorem of Pythagoras. But if you remember what we just proved uh, in the previous question, we proved that triangle uh, BPE um, is similar to triangle BDA, right? If you do ratios here, you'll find that BP divided by BD is the same as PE divided by DA is the same as BE divided by uh, BA, right? And what I want, I want AB to feature in my question. I want PE to feature in my question. So in essence, the examiner is interested in this. This comes from the proportionality that we built in the previous question, which was question one. If you look at that and you try to make AD the subject to the formula, from that part, you will see that AD is just simply equal to, um, it's equal to PE multiplied by AB divided by uh, BE. That's what it is, divided by BE. So I can take that and slaughter it there, wherever I see AD, and then finish off this question. This result comes from the previous proportionality that we created, right? So then I'm just finishing off my question by saying AB squared is BD squared plus. All that that you're looking at there, it's PE times AB divided by, uh, it's not BE, but it's BP if you look at it, right? It's BP, yes, and BP, right? And if you square that, you're just simply going to end up with AB squared equals to BD squared plus AB squared times PE squared divided by BP squared. Absolutely, absolutely powerful question indeed. Thank you very much for sending it through. Always make sure that you use what you had from the previous uh, question to answer the follow-up question and everything else will always work out and simplify to whatever you want it to be.